Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick glance at Quick Office, which I've done a review on the site, and I just wanted you guys to get a look at the UI, so let's take a look at it. Um, this, of course, is a mobile office suite that allows you to um, essentially produce spreadsheets, documents, as well as as well as many other, as well as text files. Um, this was a test document that I had created, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to hit don't save. Now what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to create a file. Hit, hit the plus button down there and it, choose, it allows you to choose one of the three. We're going to go ahead and choose the document. Now once you get here you can pull up the keyboard and start typing away or you can turn it sideways and let it type that way. So let's just type Sorry guys, it's hard to uh, type and film this at the same time. But essentially, you can type just like this, and it will automatically save to to one of two places. And I'll go ahead and show you uh, how that works. It'll save a draft on your phone, but essentially, event it will upload it to your to your Google Docs or your Dropbox. So uh, let me show you that. But first. Let's show you how the zooming works in this. See how the page sort of enlarges as well. So that's kind of nifty. You can select all and go ahead and you can change the formatting. You can change the color. Um, you can change the font. Let's make it Arial font. Um, and you can also um, highlight it if you want. And so there's, it's fairly fairly rich the the, the things you uh, can do with this. Um, here is for um, this is a tool that allows you for, for to format. Um, so you can it's as simple as just dragging, um, and as well as using these um, these page uh, paragraph um, paragraph settings. Um, again, there's your keyboard your magnifying glass and oh these are bullet points um, so you can turn them on and off uh, if you feel like you want to do um, notes with bullet points um, so finally saving you can go ahead and hit uh, save as or save save is for when you've already saved the document and named it let's go ahead and click save as and this will point you to choose one of the services to to save your um, documents to. So I use both Dropbox and Google Documents. In this case, let's use Dropbox. Um, so this is a list of all the all the folders I have on my Dropbox. Now Dropbox is a free service. You can find it at Dropbox.com, and it allows you two gigabytes of free storage. So that's where I keep all my uh, documents and it allows you to get those from anywhere you have an internet connection so like I said we chose Dropbox we're gonna go ahead and choose documents and we'll save this in the miscellaneous section um, so we'll go ahead and say choose and now it prompts me to label it so I'll just label it um, tests or quick office test let's just go test okay and we're done and now it's saved now this if I choose to continue editing this document it will it will go ahead and it will it will save exactly every few minutes I think it's every five minutes so if I were to go back open the document up Well, there's a lot in there. Um, there we go. 
Um, and this is something you can return to it's, and without losing any formatting. So that's handy. Um, let's go ahead and start a new... Um, let's get out of this. Excuse me. What's wrong? Okay. Okay, and the same goes for Google Docs. You can tie it into your Google Docs account as well. So it comes in really handy um, as far as storing stuff and taking notes in class. Um, I'll just quickly show you uh, the spreadsheet uh, creation tool. Um, so it's like, again, it's very full featured. You can put in your tables and your formulas and run them in there and it should populate the chart just as if it were a normal uh, spreadsheet application. Alright, well thank you guys for checking out Quick Office um, and let me know what you think of the product and let me know what you think of the reviews. Thank you very much. Take care.